it turns out that even in the midst of a worldwide viral pandemic, cancer is still a pretty big problem. For cancer patients across the country that are given for the first time an opportunity to donate their tissues towards a research project that is creating assets that will benefit the entire research ecosystem, such as our project, that's an awesome responsibility simply to turn your back on. The work that we're doing relies on living cancer samples that are continuously growing in the lab. That, that's where we get therapeutic hypotheses from. It's not frozen pieces of tissue, it's from living bits of cells called cell lines or organoids. And it takes over a year's worth of work before those samples can be safely frozen down. So the team member are uh, feel, uh, feeling really comfortable uh, follow all the policy uh, bro suggests. Yeah, we also have to think about uh, to rotate our uh, group uh, in two shifts to ensure our members doesn't cross each other and decrease the uh, cross contamination uh, chance for the COVID situation. We had to scramble quickly to build an operational plan that kept as many organoids growing, but didn't require our staff members to sacrifice their own safety. And it has been work really well. People are really follow the policy, protect themselves, and are still very eager to uh, complete the mission in the laboratory setting. we've been able to keep the research going at around 60%. And that's been just incredibly gratifying to see because if we were, we had to go to 0%, that would really have required us to turn our backs on the wishes of hundreds of patients across the country who have sent their samples to us for safekeeping.